Welcome back guys to Foe on the Fight. Now, today I'm going to try to get through this video successfully. I have a webcam that is not great quality and if I even bump the table just the slightest it shuts off. So I'm going to be as still as possible. While doing this, picks episode for UFC Fight Night. Volkov versus Rosen Strike. Rosen Strike. Okay, let's get in. First fight of the night, guys. We got Aaron Blanchfield against JJ Aldrich. We got Aaron at 93% pick, JJ Aldrich at 7%. Okay, I'm not an expert, but I had my best uh, fight night was 11 and 2. So take that for what you will. I'm not extremely familiar with either of these fighters, but my gut's telling me JJ's gonna gonna uh, get the upset as the underdog. So I picked JJ for that one. Moving on, we got Renat Fakretdinov versus Andreas Mikhailidis. Okay, I don't know. If, I'm not familiar with Renat. He's 18 and one, 18 and one. He's the 92% favorite. Andreas Michalaitis, I think I've seen him fight once or twice. Nothing really sticks out, so I'm going to go with the guy with the crazier name, Renat Fakaredovedemov. I pick him. 92% picked. Okay, third fight of the night, guys. You got Jeff Molina versus ooh, Zalgas Zumagulov. Oh, I like this kid. Uh, Jeff Molina is the favorite. I'm not too familiar with him, but if he's the favorite, he must be good. But I am more familiar with this other guy, Zalgas Zumal Zumagulov. Zumagulov. I'm picking him. He wears the hat, I think. <laughs> the, the hat, like uh, Paul Bunyan or whatever. The raccoon or something like that. Okay, guys. Fight number four. We're moving on. Uh, the, the video is still going, so I haven't bumped it, and my webcam is, is doing its job. Thank you, webcam. Okay. We've got Johnny Munoz versus Tony Gravely. I've seen Gravely fight. He throws hands. I think I've seen Johnny Munoz fight. I'm not positive about that. we got 54% Munoz, 46% Gravely. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Tony Gravely, the underdog. Okay, moving on. This is fight number one, two, three, four, five. We got Nicholas Stolze versus Benoit Saint Denis. Nicholas Stolze is a 50, 15 percent, and Benoit Saint Denis is at 85. Uh, I'm not familiar with these guys. I'm gonna go with Benoit Saint Denis. Okay, then we got Joe Selecki versus Alex De Silva. Okay, Alex Da Silva is a Brazilian, so I'm guessing he's got pretty good Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Joe Selecki, I think he's the guy who's really good at wrestling, so I'm going to go with the underdog at 40%. Joe Selecki, he's going to he's gonna do the wrestling. It's going to be, might be boring, might be fun, but he's going to wrestle him. Wrestle, fuck him. <clears throat> okay, sorry about my voice, guys. I've been fucked up for about seven months. Quit smoking weed. And my lungs are still kind of healing. Okay. And it's a very hard thing to do. Quit smoking weed after you smoke every day for your entire life. And I, I've been on edibles for the past six months, but eventually I'm getting fat and they're not working. My tolerance is too high. So I made the decision to quit. It's day five. I got lots of energy. Probably going to have more energy to do more of these videos so sober foe go 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 okay all right then we got felice herrig Ooh, versus carolina Kowal kowalkevich i thought she retired for some reason carolina i guess not okay i've been hearing i just heard on uh weighing in josh and john were talking about felice herrig and carolina i mean she's a vet don't get me wrong, but she hasn't looked the best in her last couple fights, and uh, I think she's kind of on her way out. I like her, 
I like her passion. You can tell she really loves the sport, Carolina. And I saw an interview when she had a bad loss, and, you know, she just looked, like, completely shocked. Like, she just didn't expect that to happen. And it was, like, almost like she was reevaluating her life in that interview. But apparently she's still fighting. She's still got the fight in her. She hasn't retired, so... I really want to pick Phyllis in this, but I'm biased because Carolina's a vet. I like her spirit. I like her attitude. And she's been around the game a long time. This is hard, guys. I don't know what to pick here. 65% is Phyllis Herrick, and then the underdog is Carolina Kolkiewicz at 35%. Oh, I want to say Carolina. Ah, okay, I'll do it. Carolina. Oh, this is a good one. We got Ode Osborne versus Zaruk Adishev. I am not familiar with him. He's four and three. Six percent picked him. Ninety-four percent picked Ode Osborne. I'm gonna go ahead and pick Ode Osborne. Safe pick. And we got Alonzo Minifield versus Askar Mozar Mozarov. Alonzo's 87%. Askar is... I'm sorry about these fruit flies. If you can even see them, guys. They're fucking driving me crazy. I've got... It all comes from one room in the house. Isn't that funny? One room in the house is dirty and stinks. So the entire house gets fruit flies. It can't be my room because I keep everything clean take the trash out almost every day so there's no trash sitting so it's like fruit flies why are you here probably because the basement's the coldest but okay i'm getting off a tangent this is mma guys this isn't the Looney rooney podcast this is foe on fight so let's get back to it all right askar mozarov god this is a hard one i don't even know who he is but that name you know those names you know those guys are dangerous askar mozarov 21 and 11 and O. Alonzo Minifield, 11 3 0. 87 picked Alonzo, 13 picked Askar Mosrov. I could see an upset happen here, but I do believe in Alonzo Minifield's growth. I think he's really getting, I think he's getting more well rounded. Um, and he 